Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's video. Um, we're gonna be going to Duna. Um, instead of bring a man module, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring a probe to Duna, which is our first probed mission, because obviously I'm not gonna go to Duna and go back, because I, I don't know how to do that, okay? So, basically, Duna is a lot farther than the moon or Minmus. Um, so, and since it's out of the SOI of Kerbin, it's gonna be a lot more complicated to get there in the first place. It's not just gonna be harder, it's gonna be harder to comprehend because we're going outside of the bound, like the boundaries that we, we, we thought were there before, but, but they weren't there in the first place, so. We're, we're gonna go we're gonna go way outside of the soi of Kerbin, and we're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna go to duna and i want to do this instead of going to gilly because it just it seemed a lot like a better option um so I, like we could probably get more signs from it as well and then once we get to gilly or ike i honestly i think we'll go to ike instead of gilly not because it's easier, just because I don't want to go to Eve, so I just, you know, yeah. Anyway, so I was originally going to do this uns- I was going to do this scripted, but I just decided to do it unscripted because I'm too lazy to write a script. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so what we're doing right now is we're building the probe that we're going to send to Mars. Or, I mean, Duna. Same thing. Um, anyway. I honestly have no idea what we unlocked yesterday, uh, not yesterday, um, like last episode, but I think we unlocked the seismometer, so that's pretty cool, so, see so ya. Yeah. This building segment was really long, it was like 40 minutes long, just to, um, build this rocket not because it, it was complicated i was just really slow anyway this is the delta v map I, I was using that to um figure out how much delta v we needed to land just to make sure that i had enough um anyway so right now we're building the lower stage and then the lower lower stage and we're using uh the actual like 3.5 meter I, I don't know it's either the 2.5 or the 3.5 meter um fuel tanks but we've never used those before so i'm kind of new to that stuff anyway um honestly this doesn't this rocket doesn't look very good but it's not, it's not about the looks it's more about if it's if it's actually good or not um which it, it looks pretty nice honestly i mean it doesn't look nice but but it, it works it works it gets us to duna uh and it doesn't get us back because we aren't trying to get back anyway This is the second clip I recorded because for some reason I split them up into two clips. Um, so this is the one where we're actually trying to get to Duna. So I'm getting my uh, time window of opportunity. I don't know what you want to call it. Time window, launch window, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Uh, I'm trying to... So it's pretty simple. Literally, all you had to do, all you have to do is get a 45 degree if you, if you draw a line from the sun to uh Kerbin and then to duna that should be a 45 degree angle i mean 44 degree angle but it's this exact same thing so don't really worry about it um but anyway if you're wondering why i have no probe control that's because i didn't think about the fact that I have, you know, I'm running on power, so I need power to control the probe, and I didn't realize this until much later inside of the video, so that's gonna be an issue that will be resolved, obviously. So I decided to refrain from going 10 times speed all the time, but obviously since most of these recordings uh, are over 
an hour or two hours long, I kind of have to still speed it up. So, I'm getting like, you know, three three times speed, but not, not like a hundred, not ten times speed, okay? So, I feel like that's definitely an improvement. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're just going up into the atmosphere, into space, so we can get our orbit, so that we can uh, get our so i just want to let you guys know every single time i make these videos it's most of the time it's my first time doing this thing uh except for min miss min miss is the only time that that was my that i've done that before but for the month um i already i already did that like prior to this but this is uh the only one that i have not done other than the month so i don't have that great of experience with it so i you know I didn't really land right. <laughs> Pretty sure I did land like a rover in like sandbox mode a really long time ago. But it ended up kind of going like that one rover that NASA sent out that died. I can't remember what it was called, but it's it's solar panels blocked out or something. I don't know. But I never saw that thing again. And it got pretty boring. Anyway, we're doing our burn to circularize around Kerbin. So, I don't know if you guys really care about that, but I'm just going to speed up until we, we start getting our ejection, ejection burned down. This is that one. All right, so we're, we're getting our uh, encounter with Duna. This took a while to get my, my precise encounter. So I'm just gonna speed it up. But yeah, this is actually quite interesting, trying to figure it out. I had to watch like a video on how to do this. If you guys didn't see that at the beginning of the clip, um, I was watching a video. It was pretty, pretty hard, but I got it eventually. Um, obviously I, I never back down i never give up And here we go with our burn. So we're starting the burn, and basically we're gonna do an in uh, in course correction burn to get ourselves into more of a equatorial orbit, so that we aren't like you know crossing through the the pole of Duna. Um. Anyway. This part's pretty boring. 
I can speed up for you guys. Okay, so our in course, uh, mid course correction burn is done. I had to avoid getting pulled into Ike's uh, SOI, but we got it, so that's that's good. Anyway, we're gonna do a bit of science, and then once we're done with the science, we're gonna we're gonna go and circularize, and then after we circularize, we're gonna go and land, which is gonna be probably one of the hardest parts because it was actually pretty easy it's just most of this is just a waiting game like you just have to wait a lot so once you get through the waiting then you're pretty much good anyway Anyway, so we're going and we're going to burn so that we can get ourselves on a course towards Mars and the landing spot that I was trying to get so that I wouldn't just um, fall over. But I didn't really have that great of reaction wheels because I'm using a probe and probes don't have really good reaction wheels and I didn't try to compensate or anything. So I literally just have what the probe has, which is not that much at all. So I kind of just had to deal with that and land with that, which is very difficult. Um, so.
So, yeah, I, I didn't really land correctly. It, it, it was really bad. It was really bad landing. We've, uh, we're in the we're in the atmosphere, so um, we got our heat shields, and this took a while because my um, solar panels kept on getting destroyed. Which I don't know, I just didn't just ret retract them because I guess I'm just stupid. And we've we've landed, so that's nice. Uh, I mean, not really. We kind of we kind of failed to land, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. We just need to land. Anyway, um, we're gonna do a bit of science, and then the episode's gonna be over. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, for more content like this, um, say something, please. I literally no one's ever commenting. Please, please tell me, tell me, please, please.